take three. <laughs> I'm Dylan. I'm Justin. Are we sure this time? I'm fairly certain. This is why we got blooper reels. <laughs> it, it may, they may never see the light of day. Oh, they will. So that being said, what are some of the things we have learned? We've learned a lot. Uh, have we, though? I feel we have. So let's start off with number one. So number one, very importantly, do not print straight to the build plate. No, don't do this. This is very bad. <laughs> you should hear why. So, as Dylan will demonstrate, when you print flat to the build plate, so here's our object. There's the build plate. You go flat to it, guess what it does? It creates suction. What does this create? It creates a pain in the ass to get off the build plate. Why? Because the last mission I had, which was a small dice tower that worked on the Elko Mars 2, I literally had to take a hammer to the back of the scalpel to get off of the build plate. It was so such onto this build plate that by the time he did get it off, not only did it crack the base of the dice tower, but when it went flying across the garage, it shattered in the garage. That was a pain in the rear to clean up. Yeah, so very good. Don't build straight to your build plate. Please use the support to go to the back does it for you. So, that being said, on to number two. With number two, it's kind of caveats on number one. And I really hate being that first arm of saying to piggyback off the commander. But building straight to the build plate, if you do this, get a flex plate. Yes, flex plate is your friend. Even when you're doing the support, it makes it 10 times easier. I promise, because then you can literally demagnetize it and, and it comes straight off put it into your wire and go ahead and cure it now, the downside with this is unfortunately you do lose a little bit of your build plate about an eighth of an inch so you can't sit there and max everything to the full size of your build plate at least with the one we have so yeah if you have a better build plate plate for the build plate for the elgo mars 2 please send it to us we will be glad to test it we will put it through numerous tests and be unbiased about this. Which leads us into number three. Number three, this is kind of important. And it's called just a good workflow. Us sitting there being two hillbillies from Texas. It's kind of hard for us to sit there and do anything in a good, organized workflow. Especially when everything's freezing over outside. Let's not talk about that. No, not really. no. But there's your one thing. This is why this video is a little late. Yeah, if you haven't heard or if you just lived under a rock for the last month, Texas kind of got frozen out and we had to suffer through this. Suffer we did. It was cold. Anyways, so that's the good workflow. Have you a system, have it set up, ready to go, it makes life so much easier. Which leads us on to number four, which is figure out your washing cure time. So one of our things we did print was a nuclear reactor that was made for the Battletech board game. And it is a beautiful print. Um, unfortunately, with our water washable resin that we're using on it, I may have washed it a little too long and it's no longer flat at the bottom, it bubbled. It, it's still a really nice piece. We have it at Black Box Gaming, Wor uh, uh, Gaming Black Store. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe I just went there. You got me thinking of cold and all of a sudden I'm back in hell. Um, but it, it's sitting there at the game store. Uh, we have used it in Warhammer. We have used it in Battletech. And it is just such a lovely piece. Unfortunately, with the extra wash time that we did on it, kind of get that tackiness on it because it's a solid piece, it's not as crisp as it should be. That being said, it's still a very physical place and still very functional. It was one of our more first prints we did. I think that was my no, that was like my second independent print. Yeah, second independent, and it's a learning curve, so we figure stuff out. But this brings us up to tip number five in our final tip for this video. Anyone can work this thing. I mean, goddamn, we we can work this thing. If we can work it, anybody can work it. We have sat there and came up with many different minis. We have come up with anything and everything. We try to put this thing through the pace, not just with our benchy test, but with Hero Forge, with Thingiverse Minis with anything we have found and thrown at us, it has printed like a champ. And all of our tips that we have set and suggested has made this workflow and made our prints so much clearer, nicer, 
cleaner and more fun. Yeah. So that being said, Elgo Mars 2, we highly recommend it. Good job, Elgo. We've met our tests, we've met our expectations. If you know of any, you know, I won't say upgrades, but accessories, we will say, for the printer that you would like to see tried out, you know, send us a link, send us information, let us know, send them to us. We'll test them. More than happy to. That being said, if you have enjoyed our videos, please don't forget to like and follow and hit that little subscribe button because whenever we post a new one, you'll be notified. And there's a lot more to come now that weather is warmed back up and more prints and more games are coming. Yep, and remember, working for the algorithm. That's right.